Okay, good morning student. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nice to meet you again, dear students, and for the whole students of over the world. Today, we will learn again on the material of listening comprehension with the topic of learning a different culture or cultural differences. Before we come to the focus of our learning, as, per, as usual, I will try to deliver about the purposes of our learning. The purposes are, one, you can identify the important things of learning different culture. Two, you can mention some different cultures between two big countries. Three, you can analyze it's a different point between the two cultures, American and British. Four, you can give opinion about the different culture mentioned from the two countries with your country. Now, we come to the first question that is very important for you. The question is about why is it important to learn different culture? Today, the world is fast becoming a global village with many countries enjoying a multicultural environment. Understanding different cultures is not only critical, but it also promotes ample coexistence. As we learn about differs, uh, as we learn about the different culture, it is worth nothing that all of us are individuals. Rather than generalizing, we should treat each other as individuals. This will go a long way in a creating a better environment where we can all thrive. Okay, now we come to the second question about the importance of uh, learning different culture. And now the second question is, what is culture? We are going to know about the definition about the culture. Culture is everything that describes a particular group of people. The group can be a family, a religious group, or a people from a different town, neighborhood, country, or a city. It can also be people who share a similar ethnic background, life dynamics, or work culture. Many times, culture is used to describe the features that are exhibited through history, language, food, arts, geography, family values, and beliefs. What are the benefits of understanding different culture? There are some benefits of understanding different cultures. One, having a one-on-one -on -one interaction with people helps you hear their stories firsthand. Two, you can learn and understand a specific culture by sampling their food. Three, you can get to understand the world better. Four, you can minimize the stereotypes. Five, you can help to prevent and overcome ethnic and racial division. Six, you can enhance effective communi communication. Seven, you can create opportunity to meet new people. Eight, you can exposure to new exper experiences. And why you should learn different culture? There are five reasons for all of you here why you should learn different culture. The first, learning about other cultures is, is interesting. Two, being exposed to culture learning opportunities stimulates your mind 
and helps you think in a different ways. Three, by learning and understanding different cultures, you understand why people do things the way they do. Four, learning about diverse cultures helps you realize that there are numerous approaches to life and you may not be the best. Five, learning about other people's customs and cultures gives and wishes the students experience everywhere they go. Okay, and now what is the relationship between the language and the culture? Language enables you to express your feelings and thoughts, facilitates communication, and allows you to exchange knowledge with others. To fully master a different language, you will need to understand the culture. It is worth noting that to understand a different culture, you should strive to study the language associated with the culture. Remember, language mirrors the beliefs and values of a culture, as well as our perception of the world. The difference between two cultures can be expressed through their languages, and understanding the differences helps you relate with people better. And now it's time for you to listen to the audio about some different cultures between American and British. So Mamika will deliver the examples on the audio about British customs and also American culture. Most common British traits 1. Wearing summer clothing at the first sight of sun 2. Apologizing automatically 3. Ability to talk at length about the weather 4. Making a cup of tea in response to a crisis 5. Finding cue jumping the ultimate crime 6. Forming a cue for pretty much anything. 7. The typically British stiff upper lip. 8. Grumbling throughout a meal, but not telling staff so as not to cause a fuss. 9. Making sarcastic or dry jokes. 10. Having a beer at the airport even though it's before 8 am. Characteristics of Americans and American culture. One, America is enormous, the third largest country in the world, with a population of more than 300 million people. Americans come in all colors, have all types of religions, and speak many languages from all over the world. Three, Americans are extremely independent, individualistic, and like to be different from each other. 4. 66% of Americans are overweight. 37% of those are obese. 5. Americans believe in freedom of choice. 6. Americans need a lot of elbow room. They like personal space around them. 7. Approximately 1% of Americans are homeless, 3.5 million people. 8. Americans talk easily to the homeless but use good judgment and are careful with whom they talk. 9. Sadly, the streets of major cities are often dirty. 10. Many people, especially teenagers, wear strange clothes, and many have tattoos and body piercings. Okay, 
Now let me make a word delivery about the answer for the first audio or the statements from the first audio that you listen. And these are the statements about the 10 most common British traits. Secondly, there are 10 here also about the American culture. And then for the second, after the answer, after the statement, Mamika will deliver about the second audio. And then this is for your practice to understand about the content of the audio. Listen now. Some other British common traits. 11. Giggling at innuendos. 12. Making a cup of tea when you have no time to drink it. 13. Getting sunburnt on the first warm day of the year. 14. Finding the American forwardness a bit much. 15. Avoiding eye contact on the tube. 16. Binge drinking at the weekends. 17. Insisting the other person goes through the door first. 18. Searching for a fry up when on holiday abroad. 19. Mistaking brightness for warmth. 20. Finding nothing better than a bacon sandwich. 21. Not asking for help so as not to put anyone out. 22. Insisting the barbecue will still go on despite rain. 23. Bringing out fancy biscuits on a plate for visitors. 24. Feeling extremely patriotic during sports events. 25. Indulging in a pint and a packet of crisps. 26. Reading newspapers in the morning. 27. Feeling at home to the tune of EastEnders or Coronation Street. 28. Wearing extra layers rather than putting the heating on. 29. Feeling appreciative that the person in front put the next customer barrier on the conveyor belt. 30. Doing anything possible for a light dam. 31. Owning a picnic hamper but only ever using it once a year. 32. Starting a controversial statement with I'm not being funny, but... 33. Being vague about your plans rather than decline an invitation. 34. Thanking someone when you've done them a favor. 35. Not correcting someone when they pronounce your name wrong. 36. Loving your cat, dog more than your child. 37. Searching your pockets when asked for spare change. 38. Feeling extreme excitement over a Sunday roast dinner. 39. Having mixed feelings towards the ill colleague who is still coming to work. 40. Being skilled in writing a letter of complaint.
characteristics of Americans and American culture. 11. Americans follow the rule of law. 12. Littering, throwing garbage on the street, graffiti and tagging, writing on the walls, and loitering, standing around and doing nothing, are against the law and are punishable by a fine or jail. 13. Discriminating against or making any insulting statement about someone else's religion or ethnicity is against the law and could be punishable as a hate crime. 14. You must be over the age of 21 and you must have an identification card with a photo to buy or drink alcohol. 15. In most states, it is illegal to buy cigarettes if you are under the age of 18, and often you can only smoke in certain places. 16. Americans are extremely informal and call most people by their first name or nickname. 17. Americans smile a lot and talk easily to strangers, sharing personal stories. 18. Asking how are you is simply a greeting and it is not a question about your health. 19. When Americans put their hands on their hips, they are usually relaxed. When they fold their arms tightly across their chest, they are angry or very serious or cold. 20. Americans don't push or stand too close to anyone in line. They always wait their turn. 21. In a restaurant, the server is usually very friendly and helpful and will often tell you his or her name. 22. When the service is good, tipping is expected to be 15 to 20 percent of the bill. 23. Polite Americans eat with one hand while the other one is under the table on their laps. 24. Usually when friends meet at a restaurant, they each pay their share of the bill or split the bill in half. It's called going Dutch. 25. If you have guests over to your house, turn off the television. Make sure your music isn't too loud. 26. Americans have parties for many reasons. Sometimes they are held for friends to get together and to meet new people. There is rarely music or dancing at a typical American party. 27. When you meet Americans, be sure to look them in the eye, smile, and shake hands. 28. Make small talk at the beginning of a conversation. After a few questions, you will be asked, what do you do? This means, what is your job? 29. For weddings and showers, people register for gifts at a specific place. 30. Americans open presents and cards in front of people. 31. Be sure you include a card with your gift. The person given the gift will send you a thank you card. 32. At an American funeral, it is not normal to make loud, sad sounds. Americans try to keep strong emotions inside. 33. There is no traditional color or flower that symbolizes death. Any and all flowers can be used at funerals. 34. We do not give money at a funeral. Sometimes we send flowers or plants to the ceremony. 35. After the funeral, there is usually a reception at the home of the family. There is usually a lot of food and sometimes alcohol. 36. Never ask Americans a direct question about their religion, age, money, salary, weight, or dress suit size. 37. Do not make any racist or negative remarks about someone's religion, family background, or sexual preferences. 38. Men should not make any sexist remarks to or about women. Anything that would make women unequal to men. 39. Americans say that they don't want to talk about politics, but sometimes they do. It's best to just listen first to see the other person's point of view before you let them know your thoughts. 40. Never go to someone's house without calling first to see if it's convenient. 41. 
If you are invited to an American party, do not bring your children, friends, or family members without first asking the permission of the host. 42. Time is money. Never be late to classes, employment interviews, appointments, parties, especially your wedding, etc. 43. Some Americans hug a lot. It is okay for women and men to hug even if they are not close friends. 44. It is normal for American women to have male friends who are just friends, and vice versa. 45. It is not uncommon for American men and women to share an apartment as roommates and not have a sexual relationship with each other. 46. Most American women do not like possessive or jealous men. 47. Most American women do not feel comfortable having the man pay for everything all the time. 48. Be careful. Meet new friends in a public place many times before you go into a car or give out your address. 49. American parents speak to their children as adults and teach them how to be responsible for their actions. 50. American parents encourage their children to question and always ask why. And then, you try to read on the description of this video, what is your assignment. So, you have to pay attention on the audio and read on the description of this video, what should you write on the comment of the video. Okay, student, this is our learning today. I hope that you can learn more about this cultural differences topic and then please write down the comment as my instruction on the description. So you have to make a differences about the culture with your own country. Thank you very much for your attention today and see you again on the different material. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.